Welcome. In this video, I will give a brief overview of the type of information you can find in the library's LibGuides, also known as our Topic and Research Guides. To access our guides, please visit egcc.edu forward slash library. You may also find a link to our LibGuides on our Gateway Search page. Once you arrive at our LibGuides homepage, you'll notice that Groups is already pre-selected. This selection organizes our guides based on which group they have been assigned to. At the time this video is being recorded, the library has 13 groups of guides. The number in the circle to the right of each group name represents the number of guides in that group. If you click on the group's hyperlink name, you can expand the grouping to see which group guides are included. Once the selection has been expanded, you can click on the name of the guide to open it. In addition to viewing the guides by group, you may also view the guides by subject, by type, or you may browse all of our guides. When viewing all guides, the default listing is alphabetical, but you may also sort by popularity and by most recent. When looking at the guides homepage, you may have also noticed some other tools that are available. These tools can help you take advantage of our LibGuides and other online library services from our LibGuides portal. Number one is a search box that allows you to search all of our guides for the subject or topic that you are looking for. When using this search box, please keep in mind that this search box only searches the guides. It does not search the databases of journals or ebooks. Number two is our gateway search widget. This search box will search the majority of our online databases. However, it does not search Nexus Uni or the O'Reilly Learning Platform. If you are an off-campus student, you'll also want to remember to check the full text limiter. Number three is a link to our LibAnswers FAQ page. For more information on LibAnswers, please see our video tutorial on that topic. Number four is a link to our A to Z database list. The A to Z list is a list of our complete collection of online databases and resources. Please see our video tutorial on the A to Z list if you'd like to learn more about it. Heading back to the guides themselves, let's take a look at some of the information you can find in one of our research guides. In this example, we will look at our Astronomy and Space Sciences Resources Guide. While this guide was specifically created for a class, we have other guides that are more general in nature or may have been created for a de degree program or for a particular subject or topic. Now let's take a look at some of the parts of this guide. Number one is an introduction to the guide. Most of our in guides include a brief introduction that will explain the purpose of the guide and offer some useful advice for researching the topic. Number two is our gateway search widget. While the widget's not present in all of our guides, when it is present, it can be used as a shortcut to our online databases. Number three is a listing of relevant journals on the subject. If you click on the journal title, it will take you to the journal page in whichever database these journals are housed. From there, you can search or browse for articles within that specific journal. Number four is a listing of relevant databases. In addition to their gateway search, library users can also search specific databases. Sometimes this is helpful when you need a smaller number of search results or you'd like to take advantage of a database's specific user interface and built-in features that are not available when using Gateway Search. Number five is our library chat widget. This widget is available on many of the library's resources pages and even inside some of our online databases. If you get lost or need library assistance, feel free to open a chat with us. We'll be happy to help. If we scroll down a little farther, we can see some additional resources. Number six is a listed of suggested ebooks. Ebooks are book titles that can be read online. Some may even let you download and print portions of the work. You may notice that some guides include suggested titles for print books. 
These books are available to our local on-campus students. Online students may consider looking for these titles at a library near them. Lastly, number seven is a list of recommended websites. When we recommend websites in our guides, we try to include links to other reputable non-library resources. These may include government websites, professional or trade associations, or organizations that specialize in the study of the subject matter covered by the guide. While this guide is fairly representative of what is included in one of our guides, the content of each guide will vary and should not be viewed as comprehensive on a subject. Rather, we design these guides to help you get started in your research. If you have any questions about this tutorial or about any of our other library ser services, please don't hesitate to reach out to us at libhelp at egcc.edu. Thank you for watching this tutorial on the Library and Information Commons LibGuides.